All right, y'all you already know. So President Joe Biden, who will be stepping down actually in a few more months uh, due to President elect Donald Trump taking over. Well, Joe Biden has authorized Ukraine. We know the, ro the war been going on between Russia and Ukraine to use our long range weapons in Russia. And I'll quote a little bit from this from the CN CNN article it says President Joe Biden has authorized Ukraine to use powerful long range American weapons inside Russia, according to two U.S. officials, similar with the decision as North Korean troops deploy in support of Moscow's effort. The, the, the decision comes as Moscow has deployed nearly 50,000 troops to Kursk in the southern region where Kiev launched a surprise counteroffensive in the summertime to prepare back the territories. The weapons are intended to be primarily used in Kursk for now, a U.S. official said with this huge troop uh, assessment there. Russia is trying to take Kursk off the table off a potential bargaining chip with the Ukrainians. And any further peace talks, something that the U.S. does not want to see. The idea, the idea is to help Ukraine hold on to curse as long as possible. The official said. Now, Joe Biden or his staff uh, won't comment on the matter. And um, look, let me say this: we need to be very careful. I know Trump had a, a call with Putin. Rumors has it he warned it not 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 to escalate. It looks like they're trying to gear this up on both sides because when Biden step when Trump steps in. Sure, he's going to start working back on cutting back aid. We've been giving the Ukrainians billions of dollars and this war been going on for multiple years. And now there's a new there's a new administration. It's not going to be the same. But at the same time, we got to be cautious because Putin has threatened before that any attacks from our weapons in their territory will be like an attack on America and the U.S. Now, who knows? Maybe Biden and Putin have spoke about it or the diplomats have spoke about it. Um, we really don't know how the Ukrainians are going to act. However, CNN reporter Fled Plykin has said that. You know, the Russians, they actually have it in their constitution to escalate with nuclear weapons if they are attacked by a country that's aided by another country with nuclear weapons. Putin has also, like I said, he's threatened to use excessive force or Russia could, in fact, be uh, be quicker on the on, on the offensive against the uh, Ukrainians down there in the cursed region. So we don't really know what's going to go on. Like I said, the, the White House, they won't give an answer about what's going on. We haven't heard anything from Putin yet. But look, we don't need we don't need nothing really escalating i don't understand biden's about to get out of office are, are you trying to to prove a point because everything was good we don't need ukraine i'm sorry we don't need them using our long-range weapons if it's going to piss off the russians any further i know a lot of people may say oh you know uh we're more powerful than them we have a bigger economy yes but they still have tactical nuclear weapons they have the satan intercontinental ballistic missile that when launched can reach an american city from russia within 15 minutes we don't want nothing like that we don't need nothing like that we don't need to reset back into human history and let's hope that biden is just saying this to get them to try to negotiate so he can say he stopped the war or if putin him you know you know who knows maybe they'll start bombing kursk at a an enormous rate at least the military targets that is i said curse kiev i'm sorry excuse me kiev the kiev region but you know, this is looking like it may potentially get out of hand, but you know, we just, I'll keep reporting on it. Um, like I said, the, since the white house is, or both Biden and was unavailable for, for comments, we'll have to wait and see what goes on from here. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.